Good evening everyone, uh, my name is Said Kayat. I just want to show you today how to install EVNG and use your CCNA, CCMP and CCIE. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to install uh, the EV. So if we go here and write EVNG download and then we, we, we will be directed to this uh, link. So if we click here we have two 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 uh, EVNG uh, EVNGs. I mean, uh, there is EVNG professional, which is you have to pay, and there is a EVNG, which is a community edition, which is free. So I am go. I mean, I've already downloaded, but this uh, EVNG. Let me just go back and show you this one. This one is a paid version, the first one. So if you click by section. It will show you how much it costs you a year. So a year, including the VAT, is one hundred and forty dollars, and that is a year license. But I'm not going. To, I'm, I'm not. I am not going. I didn't buy this one. I am just using the free version. And the free version is here. So before we go to free version as well, they they same they share the same uh, thing, which is. Eve NG uh, Bro, it has OVF which is already installed, and then you just uh, go to your virtual machine and open with it, or you download the ISO version, version which you can install from the scratch uh, within your virtual machine. Okay, I have done because it, I have downloaded, I have pre downloaded before I started down, uh, recording this video because it, it takes, uh, it has, it is uh, 2 gigabyte and 67 meg megabytes. So if I just click here, this OVF link, it will show you here. It will show you here 2 gigabyte and 67, uh, 2.67 gigabyte. And then if you want to download, you just download click in here that's done the second thing that we need is uh, let me that's AVNG download which I pre download you need a Windows client site so I'm using a Windows PC um, okay so I like when you download uh, AVNG EVNG you have to download this one otherwise later on when you try to open the node or the uh, the device it will not turn on i mean it will turn it might turn on but it will not uh, show you the you know inside so you cannot configure so if you click here the windows integration one i already downloaded but you download here from here as well the last the, these are the two main things that we need at the moment this key the, uh, you know this uh, line we will need it later on to do the permission so I pay to download it, but if you want to download it, it's, the, it's that simple. The, these two steps, and then you are there. Okay. So now, what am I going to do is that I am go. I have the ver the version, so I will turn. I will have the if in my computer, so I will click my virtual machine, and then I will go file, and then I will open with it, and then this is this is it. And then I will open with it, and then I will write if ng, and then I will import it to my file. So it takes my big one minute or less than that. We're just gonna wait and see how we perform it. It depends on your uh, on your system. It depends on your computer. My computer is uh, is a bit fast. It has a sixteen gigabyte RAM, so it is uh, it should finish within one minute or less. So now, as you can see, it finished. Then what we need we need to modify a bit on this. So if you go here, I double clicked, I double clicked any, uh, you know, here, any of this one. So I already gave eight gigabyte memory because as soon as I have a uh, 16 gigabyte memory and then a processor, 
it took automatically one so I will leave with the one because I only have a C8 and okay and then the network adapter has to be bridged so it gets uh, so the EVNG will get the DHCP IP address uh, I mean the, uh, the IP address through the DHCP and at the same time it will get the NTP or any necessary information from my uh, computer which computer which may I mean to, uh, from a computer and my computer is already connected to my uh, gateway or to my router or Wi-Fi or whatever you call so without further ado let us start So now it is, it is in a login uh, state. So the root, as you can see here, the, the default username is root, the password is if. So, so if I click here, root and if. Now it automatically give us if we need any modification, but I don't need it, so I will just uh, I have to type I have to retype if again, and then I enter it, and then it says like put the password again if. Okay, it says it doesn't match, so if if, so it matches now. Then it needs me like if I need another name, I don't need it. I just press enter. In it is like if I need to enter another domain, I don't need it, I press enter. It asks me like if it is a static, uh, if I need DHCP or a static, you see the asterisk there. I said I don't need it, I need a DHCP. And then it's asking me if I need the uh, initial clock. So I need all of this to get from my computer and from my internet provider. So I just say, uh, okay, uh, enter. I, you know, you just keep, uh, keep on keep enter, you know, the key on your keyboard, just press, keep pressing enter. So now direct connection, choose how the VM can connect it to the internet. You see, I said direct connection, and then I enter. And from now on, it restarts, it takes all this. I just, I mean, I didn't change anything. I left the default. So let us wait. Okay, so I just go on again root if then I will leave this one. So if I think I I deleted my iOS. And then And if I go here, okay. Um, what I need to do at this point, I just need to go to my FileZilla. So instead of file, before I go to file FileZilla, I want to have to come here and then test if I can, if I can go in. Uh, my if I can use it 192.168.234.234.48 yeah and the, the, this page when you come and if you just uh, it is admin admin is a user default username and the password is if then enter and then we already inside the current uh, um, in, in the eve okay so now what am I going to do I just leave this 
since I don't need it I will go to my filezilla and then this filezilla I have to connect to my so filezilla allows us to to upload images to our Eve or to Eve so now we have to put the hosting name and the hosting name is uh, if IP address the hosting not hosting name host IP address sorry so 192.168.1.2.3.4.5.1.2.3.4.5.1.2.3.4.5.1.2.3.4.5.1.2.3.4.5.1.2.3.4.5.1.2.3.4.5.1.2.3.4.5.1.2.3.4.5.1.2.3.
So now we are in Farizilla here. I will add another one. So the other one is uh, okay. Where is it? In my download is. We'll add another one. I don't even know where I put it. Okay. I will create a file and because it has to be a folder, first I have to go here and say like rename and then take copy the name of that. And then I will say copy. So this one will come here. So now we'll take this one as well to here. Ask it up. Okay, let's get up here. So now I am going to take this one as well. So now we've got these three. Here, I, I don't know about that one, so let me delete that one. So we've got two iOS here. So now, let us go to, to the website. Say 192.168.234, okay. Now we are in the, in the, in the EVNG. So we create, we click here, add a node. Then we go down and check what we have. I, s I still see only, I, I still have VS, VIOS. Then we click this one and then we add another node. So anytime you are adding a node, you just come here and write. We have a two computer CO2 here. And the computer that we, we need to is this one that we uh, Windows client that, that I is pre-installed. So I have one here. So if you didn't install the Windows client that I showed you. Did I show you, by the way, the Windows client is this one. So when you go here, if ng, that you say download and you go to the link. And here, when you download the evng, uh, the free community, uh, the, the paid one or the free community one, the one I'm using, then you have to go down here. And this is Windows side client. So if you don't download this one, you will not have uh, this this pieces this virtual pieces you will not have it this one or and then later on when you try, try to click it for example if i start this one now if i say start then it started if i click it then it will open so when you when you click it this window will come it will say open ssh then it opens for me you will not have this if you do not download this through these links. If you do not download uh, this uh, Windows client side, and if you are using a Mac, 
you download from this link so unless you do it you will not have this I hope that helps you a lot because it, it, it gives me a lot of so now I have to add another computer so I put on this computer and then when you want to connect you just click on this you uh, because it is already open so I have to stop and then I will have you see that that thing the uh, the orange one you have to click on that and then and then drag and then you know it says save and then I have to click this one and drag drag the mouse and then click and then save and then I have to click and drag and say click save so now I have a topology working so if I just highlight all of them and then right and then start the selected then they will start all of them you see they all started now now I have I am going and then I want to have the instead of this one via iOS I think this one is not working but let me go back let me delete this one Let me delete this and then let me go here let me take this one inside of this so if you click here it will show you this so let me go back And add an object. I just want to see like if I can find another iOS here. If the iOS is not working, like because when you add, it will be, it will become blue. Because this all other is they don't show up. So this one I don't have it. That's why this uh this image is not working. This image is not working. So I, I delete it. So I will get an, an a good one later on. But this one is working now for the router one. Okay. Now if you click here. It work. It is working here. You see. Yeah, it is taking a bit of time to come. And then you see. So it will come and work. But these guys, because they don't use anything, so they do quickly. Because this one they show up because the the resources they they use is you know it's it's it's, it's not um, it's not much okay so if they they seem like these guys are not responding so what I will do I will wipe note if you wipe it will say are you sure you would wipe this note because everything will be erased and then because I have nothing I will wipe and then I want to you know uh, I want to see like it should come up now you see now it's coming up and this one is the same it should come up now you see so when you wipe it if you don't see anything just wipe it you know if you take if they take time just wipe it Sorry guys. So we just wait until it finished. So this is this is how it works basically. I mean I mean it's not a it is a bit tough. So so this iOS the reason I chose and I didn't choose I didn't show you like the other one I O L and T I O L and uh, like a uh, the Unix version, which is like a, a IOU and stuff like that, these are very limited. But this one, Sky is the limit. So it uh, they support CCIE um, labs and stuff like that. So that's why I just.
so this is basically these are what they are and i hope it has been informative for you and uh, see you in the next video